You want to put a plant in the dirt. You want to put it on dirt. Put the plant in the dirt. Plant in the dirt. And then what is it going to grow? Is it going to grow flowers? Grow flowers. The next thing I am going to do today is get this red, this raised bed ready for some poppies. We winter sowed poppies back in February. I think it's February. It's January, or February, and they are growing out of their milk jugs. So I'm going to clean this out and plant some poppies in here. I think I am going to take the hoops out, um, and if it gets cold and we need to put them back in, they're pretty easy. But I want to get all the pine needles out of here because pine needles can make your soil really acidic, and I don't want that. So. Clean this out, gonna put the poppies in. Um, I don't think I'm going to amend this bed this year. It was fresh last year and we have some things in the works so I don't really want to put too much more money into this bed. So get this stuff pulled out and get working on it. Poppies are just one of the cut flowers that we grow here at the farmhouse. If you are interested in growing cut flowers in your backyard, then you need to check out my course called The Cutting Garden. I will leave a link for it below, but it will go through absolutely everything you need to know about how to grow gorgeous cut flowers right in your backyard. I did label these when we planted them, but I labeled them with permanent marker and it all faded away. So I know that they're poppies, but I don't know what kind. So they're all just gonna go in one bed and we'll see what happens. But look at this one, this one did pretty well. This is the one we did in the toilet paper rolls. That one had a good root base on it, and it has some good worms in there, too. Yeah! Yeah! I was gonna do this with the landscaping mesh with the holes in it, but I have too many seedlings and not enough holes, and I don't have another bed for these, so I'm gonna pull this up ever so carefully, and... I'm going to plant these in here without any landscaping mesh. Yeah, it's going to mean a little bit more work for me to weed it, but this way I have the most seedlings in the ground. I do need to find, actually it seems to be staying pretty well. I'm going to try not to disturb the soaker hose so that I don't have to re-put it, replace it. Like reposition it. And yes, I have gloves, but I'm finding that it's easier for me to do this with my hands. <laughs> I gotta backfill that hole. My next chore for today is getting this green stalk cleaned up. 
we grow our strawberries in this. We absolutely love it. And I'm actually gonna transplant some strawberries into it. Don't know if I'll do that today, but I at least wanna get some of this dead leaves off so that all the new growth can take over. That was easy. I got that all cleaned up. I did find, let's see if I can find it. Right here. Look. I don't know if you guys can see that. But right there, we got a strawberry bloom. So super excited about that. I'm gonna go get some water. It's kind of dry. So I'm gonna water this down and Move on to the next chore. So Nana came over in the afternoon for dinner, but I wanted to plant this peony that we had picked up at Lowe's and wanted to film it for you guys. So we, I picked up a peony at Lowe's because I had killed one previously and I just love them and they take so long to, not to grow, but in order to cut flowers from it, you need to wait three years. So I wanted to make sure that I plant as many as I can so that I can get blooms sooner. So I am planting a peony and I'm planting it in a pot because I want to be able to take it with us when we move to our new homestead. After the peony, I start to pot up the pear trees that I had planted in the fall. So I had planted pear tree seeds, and I don't remember how many, but I planted a bunch in the fall um, from pears that we had gotten from my sister's, uh, my sister's house. So I planted them and we ended up getting 15 seedlings. So in order to make sure that they didn't get root bound and to make sure that they were the healthiest as possible, I decided to plant them in individual cups using some potting soil. So we did that and we ended up getting 15. We were super excited about that. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me at the farmhouse today. If you want to see more of our homesteading adventures, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, and we will talk to you guys soon.